Welcome back, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about using OpenAI services in WordPress. So you may see recently there have been a lot of people talking about how different ChatGPT models provided uh, different results, some uh, more helpful or less helpful. Uh, some people have some issues with some of the newer iterations of the model that you get in the, the public-facing version that you use on the web. Um, so what you can do is if you have uh, any WordPress site, you can just install a plugin where you can actually have your own chatbot on your website uh, that interacts with the API directly, and it's pretty easy to do, and you can choose which model you want to use. So if you want to use DaVinci instead of the, the new one, you have the choice to do that, and uh, you could offer it to the users of your website as well. Uh, you might just want to be careful because it is going to be using the API and you'll be paying for that, but it is really cheap. Um, you know, it's like a few cents. So it depends on how you want to manage it and what your budget is. But we'll go ahead now and we'll we'll see how it's done here. So um, under your plugins section, you just click add new. And uh, if you search for AI engine, that's the one we're going to use. There's a lot of different ones that you can try out. AI engine is pretty easy to use from my testing. And then the next step is uh, we just need to get the API key from the OpenAI website. Uh, just as a side note, uh, to let you all know that the, the WordPress site that I set up for this demonstration was made at DigitalOcean. So um, if you wanted to try DigitalOcean, I'll have a link in the description that you can click. And if you sign up, uh, you'll get $200 to spend, and there's actually a lot you could do with that. So click down below, you will find a, a link for DigitalOcean. Back to the demonstration. So here is my OpenAI account. You see I have a few API keys that I use for different, uh, different purposes. Uh, some of these I can probably delete because I'm not using them anymore. But, uh, but anyway, I'll just show you, all you have to do is under user here, you click API keys, you come to this window here, and then you can just click create new secret key and of course name it something i'm going to name it uh, wordpress test and you click create secret key and um, i'm going to be deleting this key right after i'm done with the video for uh, you know for security reasons don't want it to be used uh, without my knowledge this is important i wanted to show you how it says to please save this secret key somewhere safe and accessible for security reasons you won't be able to view it again through your OpenAI account. If you lose the secret key, you'll need to generate a new one. So, uh, so yeah, so, so what that is indicating there is that from within your OpenAI account, the key will not be visible. So you basically need to make sure that once you've copied this, it is somewhere safe, and you can just click this button here to copy it. Obviously, make sure you've, you've saved it to some place where you can get at it later. All right, so now we're back in WordPress. So now we're gonna put that API key into the AI engine plugin so that we can interact with the API. You can go under here to Meow Apps and click uh, AI engine and click the settings tab. And here is where you can paste in your API key. So, all right, now we've got that in there. Okay, so now it should have saved automatically. All right, so now that your API key is in the app, you can click the playground button here and you'll see uh, there are some example prompts if you wanted to, so to just jump into chat GPT. So you see uh, this is an example, translate this article into French, uh, text corrector, fix the grammar and spelling mistakes in this text. So you can see here that you can put in some text here and you will, you will get an output and this is just a default prompt and reply. Uh, so if you wanted to actually turn this into a chat, because this is just a prompt and reply, you can actually get some code, basically in a short code, to set up the chatbot on a page of your site. And uh, in order to do that, just again, click on the uh, wrench and uh, screwdriver, click on chatbots. And so you see here, here are the, um, the main settings for it, visual settings, AI settings, uh, here's where you can pick your model. So let's say we wanted, um, instead of Turbo, let's say we wanted uh, DaVinci 3. Just click on shortcode here and then copy the shortcode. And now go over to a page of your site. Let's create a new page. Now I'm just going to call the page chat in the Gutenberg editor. 
you're going to have to put short code. There you go. So put the short code in the short code section. Uh, I don't believe you have to do that if you're using the, the, the classic editor. Once you've got the short code in your page, just click publish. If you don't want it accessible to the public, of course, change the, the post or page to private, and that will make sure that uh, nobody can use your chatbot without you knowing about it. You'll have to be logged into uh, to WordPress. So now we can interact with it. So let's say um, you're writing a, a short story about solar flares. Uh, you can ask a question like, uh, are solar flares uh, dangerous? Yes, solar flares can be dangerous. Solar flares are powerful bursts of radiation that can affect electronic systems and satellites and on the ground. It's important to be aware of solar flares and take proper precautions to protect yourself and your equipment. So now uh, this is a conversation and you can, you can kind of keep it going. Uh, what kind of equipment uh, must I protect? To protect your equipment, you should invest in solar radiation shielding. So you see it's continuing the conversation. It's not just a, a query and a prompt or a pardon, like a prompt and response. It is actually, um, you know, keeping track of your conversation. So that is your personal chat bot. And uh, as I said, you might want to make this page private until you have tweaked more of the settings to make sure that, uh, you know, you are not having something that is going to uh, jack up your, your AI costs. So definitely uh, be aware of that. But uh, otherwise, there are a lot of settings that you can tweak, and uh, you can even generate content with this plugin. I'll just caution that the, the content that it generates, like whole cloth, as you probably know from testing ChatGPT, is, is not great. Um, but uh, if you put in more input and, you know, you like to write uh, good prompts so you know exactly what you're looking for it can still be a help uh, but that's about it um, this is a this is a good plugin if you want to play around with the open ai api and um, you know you don't have uh, some coding experience yourself to make those calls to the api this is a great way of doing it right from wordpress free and easy simple to use uh, but there you go i'm going to leave it there if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and i'll see you all next time.